Hey guys, it's Gavin here from Easy Rides, and we're super excited to show you guys the Boomer Buggy Cargo. This is a brand new model from Daymac 2024. The reason that we're so excited about it is because it's one of the first cargo, true cargo mobility scooters on the market. Now, you can see obviously we have the racks on the front and the rear. Um, the other thing that's really important to note is the battery size. So this is a 60 volt, 32 amp battery. So you get a little bit more juice um, where a lot of standard mobility scooters are only 20 amp. Um, the other thing is, is it has an 800 watt motor. So tons of power if you are bringing stuff with you, you're not limited. Um, so the big thing with this is they come in three different colors. You got blue, reds, and blacks. Um, your front rack, which is amazing here. You got a little flap that covers it from snow, uh, any debris or anything, or if you want to keep something in there, keeps it a little bit more secure. It's removable. It's very easy to remove if you don't want it. Uh, it has a glass windshield. This is something that's really unique. You have to be very careful when it's being installed, um, but the glass windshield is something that we haven't seen before on a semi-enclosed or, or, or a mobility scooter with a roof. Uh, it has a wiper, which is great. The motor's here. It's easy to replace if you ever have issues with it. Um, now the basket's cool, but it also has a front push bar here, um, which is amazing because it protects the whole front area. Now something that you wouldn't notice while looking at this online is the front of this is plastic, and then the back of it is metal. So the benefit of that is that, uh, I mean, number one, this is very robust from here back, from the seating area back. Now this has a lot of protection on the front to keep that plastic in good shape, but remember, most mobility scooters on the market are made of plastic. So the fact that this is made out of metal just attributes to the quality and the robustness and the utility factor of this scooter. So these things are amazing. It's really cool that they did that. Um, and then all of this framing from here up is all metal as well, which sometimes we'll see really cheap tubular, round tubular stuff on other uh, semi-enclosed scooters. And it's really not great, um, but this feels really strong. Um, so moving back, you got a little bed here. Um, it goes up so you can really fit some stuff in there. It comes with a nice plastic tarp cover that goes around, it drapes right over top. Maybe we'll get a picture of it after. Um, and then you got your charger, but the bed has great space. Um, you can open up this seat and really you probably wouldn't have to store anything in here. Really you wouldn't want to. So there's your batteries here. You got your controller, uh, your alarm, everything like that. It's a nice space. It's, it's very easy to service if it ever needs to be serviced. Um, but really that's the benefit of it. If you're very careful, you could put some stuff in there, but it's, it's not the best place. Now the seat is wide. So I'll take a seat here. You can see if the grandkid something, you've got a small dog, something like that. You have room in here. It's very spacious where you can sit just like this. Um, the seat back's comfortable. It's, it's rigid, but comfortable. Um, it's got a strange e-brake here. Um, it is an automatic braking scooter. So as you take off the gas, it'll slow you down gradually, but it has this as a parking brake or as an extra brake or an emergency brake. Um, this stuff's all basic. It's all dated, but that's fine. You have turn signals, horn, I uh, get your headlight, wiper, and then four-way flashers. And then you can just uh, move from there. So the key fob's great too. Um, it's different than a lot of the fobs that we've seen before. So your lock, unlock, electric start and alarm, but it's nice that it's an all-in-one. We see a lot of the times it'll be a key and then a fob. It's nice to have it all in one. You can keep your spare somewhere else um, and then you can use it kind of as you need to. Um, but these things are awesome. They've done really well for us. Um, we've sold a ton of them so far. The tire's rigid too. It's important to note that it's got a great tire on it. Um, they're really strong. Uh, it's got a great tread on it. It's a six inch tire. It's not a standard mobility tire. It looks like it can bear a little bit, bit of weight. And uh, we're excited for what this thing can do. It's got a rear bumper as well. The light strip on the back is an LED also. So there's really no halogen bulbs on this thing. The blue is nice, a nice soft blue. The red's a little bit more, uh, more present. The black's classic, can't really go wrong with that. But this is a gorgeous scooter and uh, we'd love to get you guys connected with one. Um, it does a really, really good job at a lot of things that we don't see in a lot of other products. Um, so we'd love to get you set up with one. Now remember we got four stores right now. 
uh, Hamilton, Oshawa, Belleville, and Lakefield. And we'd love to get you connected with one of these cargos. It's a great scooter that can do a lot for you. So we hope to see you soon and thanks for watching. You guys, I just quickly, as a last minute thing, wanted to show you this cover that these come with. Now there's a ton of Velcro and hooks to actually install it. We just laid it over top, but this is a huge bonus for this. Because really, when do you want that enclosure? You want it in the bad weather. And if you just have something that's a little bit better than nothing, this can keep the snow off you for the most part. It can keep the rain off you for the most part. It protects actually the top of the scooter, which is great. And then if you want to, you can open it up just like this. Right? You can get in and out. Right? This opens. You can open it either just on the top and do it all the way across, or you can open it kind of like a window. See? So then this door opens. Boom. You can hop in. And then these hooks go around and you can really set it up so it's on there nicely. Um, but this thing's amazing. Um, the last thing is, is the turning radius on these things are awesome. They're, they're uh, super easy to drive. They have great speed, great acceleration, great stopping power. This is a, a really great quality scooter and we think you're gonna love it. But anyways, guys, I just want to quickly show you the cover because this is that thing. Lastly, we just wanted to go over a couple of the technical features with this specific model. So there's a couple of three important things to know. Now, number one, uh, these have a fuse, not a breaker. So there's a traditional breaker switch like you'd have you know, at home on a panel or a breaker that's on an e-bike or any other mobility scooter normally. Uh, one thing we don't like about this is it has a fuse in it. Now, the fuse is right under here. You wanna come over here, you might be able to get a view of it. It's in here in this little case right so if you ever have an issue you can see it's coming off the, the batteries here um, before it goes to the controller so if you ever have an issue with power it's good to check the fuse it's usually the first place to check um, now the other thing is that's really strange with this scooter is normally these scooters that self break will have a motor cutoff switch now this has that but if you want to push this in roll mode um, so that you can move it without motor resistance see i can't move it right now there's a switch right here that says push push and uh, when you press that, then you can move it all the way. Now, this is confusing for two reasons. Number one, it shares a button with the wiper and it has two dots there and then one there. So it looks like it's setting two for wiper or setting one, but that's not the case. So if you ever accidentally press that, you won't have power. So look, no power, press that, power. So that's very important to note. Now, the last thing I just want to quickly show you is the charge ports right down here. If you're ever looking for it, you might be able to get a view of it, um, just so you have an idea. And then this is a great little storage cubby that we didn't talk about earlier. You fit a lot of stuff in there, but yeah, just, just in case you guys ever have issues with these things not working, those are the two first things to check. Um, and this one, I know it's gonna cause problems for people for obvious reasons, um, but don't be afraid to give us a call if you need a hand with anything. Okay, thanks again, guys.